you're new to this group, welcome. My name is Rebecca. I mean, you dating confidant. I labeled this stop thinking that you need to be desired. And it is so potent and such a hot thing to talk about. When I share this, I want to make sure that as I share this, there's no blame, there's no make wrong, but with cultural conditioning and of course, psychological factors and, and biology for women, there can be this deep need or deep desire needing to be desired. What happens is I see this all the time is as women date, they're in their minds and they're asking, am I desirable? Does he like me? And then what happens is women become the bystander in their life and in their dating and in their relationships rather than being the chooser. So when a man will show a woman interest, all of a sudden she's like, oh my gosh, she's into me and she'll want to be interested in him without truly knowing if that's an incredible man for her. And I'm here to let you guys know that you are the chooser. You are the chooser when you choose to be the chooser. So I want to flip the script when you go out and date and when you're also in relationship, instead of being in the mindset of, am I desirable? You want to pause and ask, how am I feeling right now? What am I experiencing? Do I like him? Am I liking this experience? Is this a match for me? Pause and let go of the need to be desired. And instead of looking at, am I desirable? Looking at it as, is this a desirable situation? Am, am I liking this? How am I feeling? How is he treating me? It's important that we grant ourselves the grace to be the chooser and not the bystander. So take a moment and just reflect and ask, where in my life? It can be dating, it could be in relationship, it could be in work, it could be anywhere. Where am I being the bystander? And just, pretzeling myself in order to fit a situation to appease other people in hiding and not fully being my expressive, beautiful, wonderful, childlike self. Where am I choosing to be a bystander? So I just want my single ladies and my ladies in relationship to take a moment and look at where am I being the bystander, right? So that you can step into the chooser and ask what becomes available for me when I step into being the chooser rather than always being chosen. Okay, gang, I love you guys. And go out there and be the chooser with so much love and grace and know that it's not selfish. Sending you so much love from beautiful San Diego. You have an incredible day. May miracles unfold in ways that you least expect it as you go throughout your day and you are the chooser with so much love and grace. Okay, mwah!